Tell me about the money. Let's get to that part, right? Um, like I think you were on for how long before you made money? Um, so I think once you so once you hit like your first thousand followers, that's when you can actually go live and monetize. So before I really made anything, I think it was like a month or something like that. So it was a month of me being on before people actually was able to start like really donating. Um, and because like the first thousand followers, they're not really going to donate that much, you know what I mean? Because there's not enough people. But once I think I hit like 20K or something like that, uh, the donations like picked up, you know? What is that like? Like, what do you, what do you do to get donations? So what I try to do is I try not to, I try not to monetize like uh, right away. I try to do things that are organic and stuff like that to make people want to give, but I'll go live and I'll like basically start talking on live and just start like telling my story or the, one of the most um, impactful things that I've seen is when I start playing my music like live in a studio or if I'm making music and I set up my phone and go live and I just start freestyling or something like that. Like people love those kind of videos when they get to see you in action recording where they get to see you actually rapping live and they get to see it. Um, they get to see it like for themselves and it's like happening in real time, you know? So that's what make people want to donate to whether you like dance or you talk, or even if I've done like motivational, like, yo man, let me tell you my story and encourage people and ask me questions. Um, and then, or sometimes I'll put it in the caption, like send gifts, you know, like when you go live, you can kind of put the title of the video and I'll do like a quotation, send gifts or something like that. And then people just start donating, um, these little coins and then the coins translate to actual money. Man, like the, the beauty of what you just said, right? There's so much we can unpack from that, but just the behind the scenes part and you're getting paid to show people behind the scenes of your music. Right? Yeah, yeah. But, like we already talk about that from a branding standpoint and what that can do. But in the same way, we might say, hey, you need to get some subscribers and an email list and all these things so then you can monetize and show this package or do a Patreon or any of these things. You're essentially able to do that by just going live Right. And once you go live, you're telling me that they're interested and appreciate you being in the studio and just doing that stuff enough that they're they're donating. So that's that's cool, bro. What, what was that even like when you first like went realized that and went through that? Um, so the cool thing, it was like seeing that people start donating. And one of the most exciting things for me is like when people donate like some of the biggest prizes. So some of the biggest prizes goes up. So whenever people donate like a you are rich or something like that, you are very rich. I think it's like twenty dollars or something like that or ten dollars. And um because oh, the coin, snap, I've seen that before. I thought that was just like a weird spammer saying something like that in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like when they donate like big prizes and then it does cool stuff like you can donate concert and you got the little things like panda and different little small like little packages they can donate but once they donate like the big ones it does something cool on the screen so like if they do concert there's these little characters that roll across the screen with guitars and start playing and then a the whole screen start lighting up and it make you feel kind of like whoa this is pretty dope you know um so mm -hmm. it's like a good feeling man because it's like me being a full-time artist man like year after year it's like i have to sell merch i have to do shows and the, the pressure is on you know what i mean so like Anytime I can get any extra donation, like it makes me feel really like encouraged, like, okay, this is working because it's scary. You know what I mean? When you step out and you got bills to pay, um, especially me having a, a family, like it's like, okay, I have to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm being strategic and meeting my deadline of X amount of dollars I need to make. So TikTok is starting to finally convert into like, okay, if I need to make X amount of dollars per month to pay rent or whatever, like, um, it goes towards it. You know what I mean? It's like big chunks that I can actually put towards it that I don't have to go out and do somewhere else. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like driving Uber or something like that. Like it helps wow. so I, I can stay at my house and like do what I, you know, do what I love to do, you know? Dope, man. I mean, especially when you think about it as with that replacement of income where you were talking about extra money on the side and stuff like that. I hadn't even thought about it like that yet. Um, but the first check back when you sent me right uh, money, right, and, or, or showing me like how much you had made was fifty dollars, mm -hmm. right? What was um, what was it like? Well, when you when you see people are paying, right? Because this it's interesting. It sounds very similar to Twitch and how do things pop up. I haven't even experienced that part because I don't get on people's lives um, j just yet. I haven't had the time. 
but did you feel like you had to do anything super extra? Like, were you, were you nervous when, when it came to asking for the donations initially? What, what was that? What did that feel like? Um, I wasn't nervous at first because I realized that some people actually have money like saved up on their account just to like give to some people that they want to support. Especially mm. when I start telling a story of like why I do what I do. Like when I start telling people my story, hey, you know, I stay at home with my son and like, you know, I, I dived head first into music and this is what I do. This is how I pay the bills. Like, and I don't ask for anything. I'm just like telling my story. Like this is, this is how long I've been doing it. And people want to feel like they're supporting you. So, like, I have one person who consistently donates, like, you know, um, like, one of my followers, Madeline, like, she always jumps on my live, and she's just like, donate, 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 and there's, like, all these coins, and I'm like, man, why do you donate so much, and she's just like, I really believe in what you do, and I just want to be, like, I'm glad I get to be a part of it by donating, and she's from Sweden, she literally lives in Sweden, you know what I mean, man. like, and she's Dude, just you like, you got a I super fan, a legit super fan, yeah, and the thing is, like, once you make that connection with the people, they feel inclined to donate. Um, and the crazy thing is, like, it is coins. So when people donate coins, it can be, like, $5. And then because TikTok take half, it can go down to two. So when you right. see people donating a lot and then they do those big donations, that's when it start converting. Like, like I think I, I got on live a couple more times and hit, like, $75. Um, and it, like, jumped up from 50 to, like, 75 just by going live, like, another once or twice. And then one of the best things is like when I get a video that really starts trending, like my video that hit a, a million and 1.7 million views, um, my followers literally just started going crazy, right? That's when I went from 50,000 followers to 100,000. They literally just was one viral video. And then I went on live and I literally had 160 people at a, at a time jumping on and off. And then when I finished up the live video, it was like they said it was 5,400 people in that live. It was over 5,000 people total, and me being mm. on live in a span of like three hours. And I was just like, this is crazy. So um, I think the more that like you get like a video that's going viral, and once you see it going viral, you jump on live, and then people just start donating because you have so many more people in front of you. And once you start telling your story, that's when it just, you know. Mm. Ow.